My lady. What do you see? Well, the Mongols are actually camped under these trees. It is quite obvious from the fires that they light in the forest at night. Tell Nasa Odin to come here now. Yes, my lady. Emir Nasser Adin and two slaves, and two chests aren't in the citadel. My lady! I'll find them immediately, wherever they are. Oh, yes. Nasser Adin. like a mountain. Whatever you say to the mountain, good or bad, you will hear the same thing from it. The same, just like an echo. And if by any chance you believe that I spoke kindly, and that the mountain said something bad, that is impossible. no water in the well. This is all the water that we have right now. Each of you should drink a sip. You told us that we will pass through the desert in two days. This is the third day. And now we don't even know where in the desert we are. The wagon, it slowed us down. It was out of my hands. It's still heavy. We can't remove any more wood from the chests. And we need the wood to make fires at night in the desert. Nights? How many more nights do we have to spend in this hell? for you to offer me your horse. 
I will just sit here on the wagon. The Garigon Desert. Don't stray too far, Nasir. Make sure you ride near us. Well, the horses cannot take it anymore. Oh. Is it a full jug? Yes. Tell me, where did you hide it? Here, beneath where I'm sitting. That's good. That's very good. I will have to reward you. But make sure not to tell anyone. <laughs> Kings has no outcome but yearning and misery. My son separated you from your family, your tribe, and brought you to a palace. And I'm also quite sure that you pray over a thousand times every single day that you are never caught up in this miserable but glorious love. I was also once like you. A sultan took me to the palace of loneliness. It was like a prison with golden walls, and the chains on my hands and feet were made of emeralds and diamonds. But I wasn't like you. I didn't surrender to my destiny. I wanted to force destiny to surrender to me. You see, women like us have only two options. They are either sacrifice themselves or forced to sacrifice others. It is quite clear that you chose the first, and I chose the second. But to be honest, there is no difference between you and me. We will both eventually become slaves. A sultan's wife and a sultan's mother. So you see, this is our destiny. This is how we live from one form of slavery to another. <laughs> <laughs> 